Hey up everybody. I'm moving on to the next part of my jigsaw now. In this long haul locomotive. Um, and I'm going to do the lubrication system. Just before I start this though. I've just been spraying my tanks. Uh, I did that in a previous video. My water tanks. And I've just finished spraying them up. And I'll just. I'll just put in a couple of shots of those before I go any further. So uh, I'll take a break here and have a look at me spraying my pannier water tanks. Right, that's my tanks finished then. So what I'm moving on to then is lubrication system. And I was going to make a, a lubricating pump. But a chap at our, look, my local club, about 18 months ago, they were stripping uh, our resident loco down in workshop. And they, they took the oil pumps off it and uh, they were putting some different kinds on, I think. And he asked me if I wanted to take one on them to, for mine so I, I took this I've cleaned it up it was in a bit of a scruffy state but that's the lid for it that's the sort of state it were in but I've cleaned it up and cleaned it out and I'm just going to try it to see if it works and this type that that's there's a couple of different variations I think what you can get for the mechanical lubricator uh, this one's got two ratchet systems on it so that the wheel can only turn one way so as it goes back ready to pump then that ratchet holds it then it pumps and then the other ratchet holds it while it returns and it just keeps doing that it's got a non-return valve in bottom and I've cleaned everything out now I'm just about to try it to see if it actually does pump so I'm going to fill this up with some oil and then we'll have a look at it see if it pumps under normal circumstances it should be thicker oil than this for steam oil but I ain't got none so I've put some gearbox oil in which is quite thick so I'll attach this pipe to the non-return valve which is underneath then we'll have a look at it and see if it pumps and if it if it does pump I'm going to use it but I think before I put it onto my loco I'm going to take it to pieces and make a drawing of it so I can uh, make, a, make a new one I know it's pumping because it's, I can feel resistance on the arm as it's on its pumping stroke. I don't know if you can see that in camera but the oil's just coming through to where my finger is now. I think you can see it there. And 
and every time it gets on its pumping stroke I can feel it resisting so I know it's pumping So that's okay. I'll just move over to Loco now and show you exactly how I'm going to fit this and what I've got to make to to make it fit on my Loco. Right over at Loco now, uh, I've took my foot plate off to get access to to my valve rod. So what I've done here then, on the clevis pin of my valve actuating arm here, I've made a longer pin and I've made this rod fit onto that extended pin. On the other side, fitted I've fitted a split pin to hold it all on. This connection here was already on the pump, and it's just a spring, a spring connection that opens up and clips onto the arm of the pump onto this arm into one of those holes now the reason there's different holes in that is because depending on where you've got this connected it gives either a shorter stroke or a longer stroke on this arm so the higher you go the more that'll move and give you more ratchets the lower you go the less it moves and gives you less ratchets per revolution then I've made this bracket I've silver soldered the two pieces of brass together I've put uh, two slots in and that'll fit onto my foot plate and then the two bolt holes that were existing in the pump here they've got two nuts on the back I've just got to loosen them off and fasten the pump reservoir to those two holes there so it's going to sit like that on the foot plate just underneath my pannier tanks just enough to get enough room to get the lid on and off and fill it up and then once I've done that I'm going to move on to the pipe work I'm going to sign off for now then and if you've not seen my other videos, I'm making this loco from scratch. Take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.